Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Horseman Channel today. Got me and the boy here. Uh, it's been a minute, and I'm sorry for that, guys, but we had a lot happen. Uh, to be honest, my household came down with COVID, mm -hmm. so uh, that was not too fun. Try to get me infected. Yeah, exactly. Um, so anyways, uh, I haven't had a video out in the last almost a month, I think it's coming up on. Yeah. But I want to give you guys something. A lot of things have happened. As you know, I did get the new tires on the car. I went with proxies. I went with Toyo Triple, or I think they're R Triple Eights. Yeah, they're R Triple Eights. Um, super happy about that. Um, on the 14th, this car is going to uh, get its gears changed. We're going from 331s to 373s. Um, so I kind of wanted to give you an update as to what's going on with the vehicle and what we're doing. Um, also, after that, the car will be going off to get tuned to on E85. Possibly a smaller pulley. We don't know yet. That is a four-inch pulley. Um, and we just kind of want the car to, to come to life a little bit uh, uh, more on the bottom end. I'm hoping the gears will help out with that. Um, but yeah, E85, possibly smaller tuner. Or uh, smaller, smaller pulley, sorry. And then the uh, proxy tires. Yeah. They go from there. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. And as of right now, we are doing an oil change on the car because it's been... I, I've had the car for a couple months. I put a thousand miles on it or more about 1500 and I'm gonna go ahead and get the oil change because you never know what the previous owners did um, And I'd rather be safe than sorry and I use good old AMS oil as you can see right there um, And AMS oil was out of their filters, so I actually had to get a Wix uh, high flow filter uh, I wish you would have told me that bro. Yeah. Oh, you know I don't think it's the same anyway because every time you order my oil like the last two loads the filters that come with it, I can't use. Yeah, they won't they won't work on mine because it, it's a whole different filter. Okay, I'm wondering what that is. But anyways, yeah guys, so that's what we're doing today. Um, we also might have a little bit of an oil leak. We don't know where it's coming from. We'd like to kind of track it down. We don't know if it's coming from the back end of the car or not. Um, but I, it's a pet peeve of mine. I can't have oil leaks. Uh, so I got to, I mean, it's very, it's very small, but it bothers me nonetheless. So... We're gonna to try to track that down, get the oil changed, and we'll go from there, right? Yeah. All right. Over and out. Uh, I don't know why I'm always working on the damn Shelby, and it always goes 11s. Don't You're it. Funny. You're funny. Don't it, boss man. Uh. Take your time, do it right. This shit here. gonna be hot. Is it now? It's gonna be. Uh, all right. Let's see. There goes. Oh, careful, careful, careful. You want gloves? No, nah, I just kind of have it on here real tight, and then I'm gonna pull it out. Oops. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Even the oil couldn't catch me. Right. I was too fast. Too fast for it. I can't see what the oil looking like. <laughs> all right. So we need a tubular K member. We need tubular A arms. Oh, you hear this, guys? We yeah. need uh, we need some carbon fiber wheels. Just go ahead and buy those off the new Shelby. Okay. Um, bro, we are at. The, let me get this bolt for false. We are at the freaking top of this, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm gonna have to let this drain down a lot because then we gotta get the oil filter off it. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. She she draining draining. So you're gonna need that for the light. Can't see, but back here, those are the those are the them there cutouts. And then yeah, the first time under the car really. I wanted to get it on a lift so I could really look at it. But, but that is the way it is right now. Look how full that is getting. Yeah, that's, that's she's pushing. Damn. Wow wow wow. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna keep on chugging along here, guys. Hey, is that? Oh, you looking? Looking pretty good. Seeing as how it's already leaking. Oh, is it? You already uh, started? Oh, okay. I see it. So now, not a half bad idea. Well, this would be a good time to tell y'all. Uh, my car that I got his uh, transmission, my stuff from. Finally got it back in the car. Had a uh, had the shop put it in, and had some few issues with it. I mean, when they told me it was ready, 
Went to go hop in the car, had no clutch pedal feel. Uh, started up the car, a freaking trans cooler was leaking. That wasn't fun. That, that, that stuff got everywhere. Right. Then I uh, had the guy fix it who put it all in and uh, had it back for not even 24 hours. Drove it back down home. Did a slight pull in it and something in the transmission let go. It it did it, it just it just broke. I'm gonna send I'm gonna uh send him the video so he can put a little clip of it and so you guys can see it and kind of tell me what y'all think on it. it. It wasn't even a crazy pull. It was probably I don't remember if I was in second or third gear. Took it up to about maybe five thousand RPM give or take. And uh all right, let's put the... What's up? Yeah, put this oil pan right here. You got ready? Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Act like this oil is hot, bro. Right. This ain't nothing but a little bit of regular old maintenance. You know, I heard the best way to do it is uh, poke a hole in the bottom of the oil filter. Put a That's straw. A really good put idea. a straw in it and just suck it out. Just suck it out? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dang. I didn't know you had the whole bag up in there. Oh, yeah. Whew. Dang. Okay. Well, let me get you the other foot. You might as well go ahead and stay on down here. Of course. You got to get the rest of it. Man, here. A little old brake cleaner. Let's go on over here to the good stuff. Yeah. Hey, I imagine you didn't order my oil yet, but I mean, my car is broken, so I probably did. I probably did. I probably did. All right, my guy. Oh, okay. You going with the Wix? Yeah. This is not a sponsored video, but Wix, if you do want to sponsor us, we'd appreciate it. Hey, I'm going to throw a tad bit of oil in this filter. Yes, you do. About, about a quarter and a half. I'm about to lube it down. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Uh-huh. Yeah, this this stuff, good stuff that he need to go ahead and go get me. Throw a little bit up in there. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit up on this. Oops. I'm going to get it all the way like that. But take that. Put up on this on this sale right here. You know what I mean? This might be his ticket to, to tens, But, I mean, it's a Shelby, so ain't no really telling. Yeah. That is not nearly as much oil as I thought was going to be in there. Go ahead and pour a little bit more up in there. You know, he's gonna have to move it a little bit, so. Yeah. There you go, pimp. All right, well, uh, the straw just kind of uh, didn't stay in. So. Come on, huh? Yeah, I ain't got it all day. Don't let that stuff get in your eyes. No, I wipe, wipe it down. Of course not. And once you get started with that, I'll start throwing some oil on the top of this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. We so far got uh, most of the oil in. We're about to lower the car and go from there. We did happen to find, we think, where the oil leak is possibly coming from. And we think it's the back of the motor, but up top maybe the rear side of the valve cover gasket. I don't know. Um, it is a very slow leak, but nonetheless, we might have to try to figure out Maybe get that fixed, take it in, or, you know. Yeah, we need to get up on a lift or something like that. Yeah, for sure. Um, we got most of the oil in. In case of any of you were wondering what oil I use, obviously it's AMS oil, but I use 5W50 synthetic. It's uh, the Signature Series. Again, this is not sponsored, but AMS oil. If you're right. listening, <laughs> sponsor your boys. Right? Um, got everything put in so far. We're going to, we... The car takes like eight and a half quarts, technically nine and a half if you count what's in the oil cooling system. But we put about uh, seven quarts in right now. We're gonna lower it, let everything kind of settle, see where it's at, and then uh, go from there. So, right here, we got all these jack stands pulled out. Yeah, all, all, what do you got? Five, six jack stands, I got, I got two five. there, and I three like over there, bro. This dude is like extra, like extra safe. Like, <laughs> I don't play around. So. Bring it on down. Easy there, killer. Right. 
There's that. Now you gotta drop about 10 inches. She close? Is that all the way? No. That is. Oh, that is. Oh, close. barely. Burly. Burly. If you didn't, if we didn't have those blocks underneath there, it definitely would have yeah. sat on it. I knew it was gonna be close. I just didn't know how close she was gonna be. All right, let some of this oil kind of sit in here for like another ten seconds or so, and then just check it from there. Go on and check it. So you're gonna put like the two inch pulley on here, yeah, thirty yeah. pounds of boost, right? What do you think, guys? It's a stock block, cams. Gonna speak. Speaking of which, so uh, our tuner, right? He's got a uh, he's got a built five eight. Now, I so happen to know somebody or some car I could use a built five eight. Funny guy. You know, it's a good price. Right? Can I use your wallet? Yeah, I mean, I got like at least two dollars in here. I mean, you can put that you know, <laughs> towards the bill, you know, right. if you want to. That might handle like a tax or something like that, but uh, you know, <laughs> I'm good at persuading. I'm very persuasive. Right. So hopefully, you know, next year or something like that, you know, <laughs> give this man a uh, get him a built a built short block. I'm telling you, if you if you did get one, if you did do a built motor, how much would you turn up this car to? How much power did you try to make? A thousand? We gotta get them to a thousand. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and just go for the nines. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Alright, where is alright, go ahead and check your, your dipstick. Here's a rag. We got at least another what, two two quarts to put in here? Give or take. Yep. I do like the AMS oil though. Is this the one for boost applications? Is that the one that you got? Yeah, it's just, it was, yeah, it was recommended for this car. Oh, wait, no, I don't. That's, that's that, don't look the box, you gotta go off of that. Um, it might be the same, I don't really know. Oh yeah, ideal for turbo applications. This might be the yeah. I think I think that's it. Which I need to do. I need to do an oil change on mine. I think we may or may off in here because I uh, I did a little pull in my car. Something let go. Either I think it's either the clutch let go or broke. When I say let, go, I don't mean like slipping. I think something broke, broke, or maybe the drivetrain or drive shaft broke or something like that so i don't know we'll see how's she looking low yeah let me do this and pull it out and actually see where we're at i mean i expect it to be low when you got six or seven quarts in here yeah we're not even at the second line yet <clears throat> all right well go ahead now all the oil settles so go ahead and start throwing the rest of the oil yeah. this car looks good on camera bro it looks even better on my rear view. I mean, it's, it? it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> nice HID lights and all that stuff, man. It's beautiful. Oh, if you want me, throw some of that, that bang energy drink right there in there too. Yeah. Yeah, with some of that PB blaster. Yeah. Keep keeps everything energized and yeah. lubricated right. together. Right. You, you know, you don't even need AMS oil. You know what? Just run it straight off of that. I say we just drain all the AMS oil out and just go off all that. You know what? When you get this built motor next year. <laughs> <laughs> just like that oil change is done only took us two hours with all the uh jack sands we had to find because three there and two on the other side wasn't enough if he could find more jack tents he would have put more in there <laughs> oh you shelby owners she's on tight she's on tight what did you just throw at your car? You sure? Yeah, I see a scratch in your door, man. No, you don't. Look at him, look at it. Yeah. <laughs> man, we all finally wrapped up water. Yes, sir. All eight quarts of oil. Yes, sir. We did a uh, we did an oil filter delete on here. Just put some tape on it. <laughs> Sealed in the block. 
<laughs> All right, start her up. Go for it. Make sure there ain't nothing leaking. Squeak on that wheel. Is that your, is that your tensioner? No idea. It's something in here. I hear a little squeak. Anyways, the car's done. I'm filthy, dirty, so I'm looking all raggedy, but I want to at least give you guys an update of what's going on with the car. Oil's changed, and uh, we will be um, getting her the gears swapped out <clears throat> on the 14th. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this car off so we can hear each other. all right but yeah car goes in for the gear swap on the 14th then we're gonna go get the i got, already got the injectors to put in for the or i got id 1000s we're gonna put in there it's already got the boost to pump put it on e85 possibly a smaller pulley guys we might do like a it's got a four inch pulley we might do like a 3.75 or something just to just what to see uh, it's got some Bosch, I think, like or 75, uh, 70 pound injectors or something. Oh, snap, okay. So you didn't sell the injectors out of the last car? I got them. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, sir. So we'll get those injectors put in. Um, get it put on E85, possibly smaller pulley. And no possibly, man. Go ahead and order it. I mean, yeah. Well, Bob's already got, he might have one on the blower already. He told me wait and order. wait to order it until he checks for me. See what his is. And we'll go from there. But other than that, guys, as always, please like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. And as always, peeps, what's in your stables? Thanks for watching.